Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about um, solid, excuse me, um, form modeling versus surface modeling. One of my subscribers and some other ones have asked a question. They say um, which is best to, to model with, um, whether it be forms or surface modeling. I wouldn't say one is better than the other. I would uh, more characterize it as um, which is best for what you are trying to design. If it can be done easier with surfaces, go ahead and use a surface. If it can be done easier with the form, go ahead and use a form. Now, when I look at things to model, I'll look at them okay um, like that. I'll say, okay, um, what part of that can I model with the form? And if I can model it with the form, I'll just go ahead and do it. And um, if it's a complex model though, like this SR-71. Now this is a complex model, but this is all done with forms. So that lets you know that even complex models can be done with forms. And um, e you can take, well, this could be done with surface modeling also, but again, you need to look at what is the easiest way to get an end result. And to me, forms was easier this way. And this is a good looking model here. Let's take a look at this F117. Not that one. That's showing you guys how I'm doing. This F117, now this is all surface modeling. Now something like this, to use, try to model this with forms would be very, very difficult to do. So it's just easier to do this with um, surface modeling. This would be, um, in my opinion, would be a nightmare trying to do this with a form. You know, um, getting all these faces and everything on here. Now, it could be done. I'm not saying it can't be done. Um, you know, if you came up here and used a plane and did this, you could do it that way. But it's just easier to surface model this. So, yeah. Go ahead and get out of this. Okay. Also, let's take a look at something um, difficult again, like this F-16 here. Now this F-16, this is surface modeling plus form modeling. This canopy up here is done with the form. This tail back here is done with the form. And the wings here is done with the form. Well, you can get these wings, and you can do all of this um, surface modeling as well, but I like to use a combination of the two depending on, again, the end results, what I'm trying to achieve. So this whole fuselage, um, again, I probably could have um, did this with the form, but to me it was just easier to do this center body with surface modeling. So yeah, and let's have a look at something else here. This frog foot. All right, this is a complex model also. And this is all forms also. And it's a complex model. And I'm working on the inside uh, flight deck up here too. So yeah, so. You can do some serious things. I mean, um, very complex models with forms, and you could do uh, vice versa with surface modeling, very complex things. And let me show you here, like this AT6 Texan here. Now this looks very, very complicated, but this is quite simple to do, and this is all forms. The whole plane is just forms. So, like I said, you know, it, um, it all depends on what you're trying to do will dictate uh, whether I use a form or I'll um, use surface modeling. Like I said, this looks really good. And um, even, like, let's see, we come over here. <laughs> even the propeller spins around. <laughs> now, this looks real complicated. But it's not. And if you want to learn how to model things like these, um, like um, these airplanes, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and 
Watch my videos. I teach you how to do all of this type of stuff. Let's have a look at um, something else. Now, um, I practice modeling stuff in Fusion a lot. Um, I probably do about an hour every single day on something, whether I'm making content for the channel or I'm just uh, you know, sitting down trying to model something, whether it be a parametric model or something that I'm using forms or anything like that, I'll just sit down and do it. And um, like I said, I'll probably do a minimum of an hour every day just practicing. And, but most likely, I, um, I spend two to three hours a day just working on stuff. And um, like, um, I even model cars as well. Um, I started this Porsche, and this is surface modeling. And now again, um, let me, um, with surface modeling and form modeling, it, um, I'm pretty sure I could have modeled this car also by um, using um, just forms also. But to me, it's easier um, to me to use surface modeling like I'm doing here. And let's say, let me turn these off here. Now, as you can see, I started even using the form on this car just to show concept of what, um, what, whether it be a form or not. Now, this form here took me a lot longer to do than it did with surface modeling. And I feel like even this, this has a lot more work to do to really get this shape down and it took me a long time just to get to this point right here with it. So, again, to me, um, surface modeling was easier to do for this. So, um, but, again, just depends on what you're trying to do and which is the right tool for you to use, whether it be surface um, or uh, freeform modeling. Now... Which one I prefer, I don't have a preference on either of them. Like I said, I'll just use what works best for me. What, uh, what am I trying to achieve? It, um, let's say I'm, you know, um, like these shapes here, these individual shapes, it's just easier to do. Um, let me turn a couple of these off so you can really see it like this fender up here, modeling that. As you can see, there's that fender. But yeah, but like I said, all the stuff I model on my channel I practice a lot, quite a bit, to be able to do this type of stuff and to show you guys um, how to do it. But um, yeah, but anyway, I just want to talk a little um, about surface modeling and um, uh, freeform modeling. Again, just use which is best um, for you. So if Let's say you wanted to model this spinner here with a form. You could use a form here to do this, or you could use parametric modeling to do this, or um, you could even um, um, use surface modeling for this. It's all up to you um, what you want to use and what works best for you and what you really feel comfortable doing. But um, I find it best to work in form modeling, freeform modeling, and surface modeling, so you can do both. And um, because I think you'll be much more um, a well-rounded modeler when you're modeling things. Because if you can only do freeform modeling, you might be limited on certain things, and um, or you may have a hard time um, doing them and instead of having, you know, um, using surface modeling to do it. So, yeah. But um, anyway, 
that's going to do it for this video. And um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and like and comment down below. And also, if you have any questions about anything I do on my channel, um, go ahead and leave them down in the comments or contact me on my Facebook group or my um, Patreon site. Both are called Cad Bill Fly RC. And um, also, if you want to learn how to do all this type of stuff, just um, go ahead and watch my videos. And um, everything, everything that this AT6 Texan right here that I've done, I've shown you how to do all of this on my channel. Um, you know, even like this um, SR71, I show you how to model this SR71 on my channel. The only thing I haven't showed you um, is this frog foot, but this frog foot is done ex um, exactly just like everything else. I've showed you on my channel how to model. And the F-117, same thing. Everything I'm showing you, it's in uh, my videos. And um, yeah, but only another thing I haven't showed you, I uh, haven't showed you how to model these cars because um, that's not my main purpose of this channel. This channel is to teach you how to model airplanes, not cars. So, um, but I just want to show you guys um, this Porsche here to um, show you that I do model other ways too. And um, like the F-16 here also that this is surface modeling as well. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And we'll catch you in the following videos. Subscribe for more.